Authorities in flood-affected regions in central, northern and eastern China are calling for enhanced response measures such as dike reinforcement and 24-hour patrols to protect lives and property. Property of people in heavy rainy days. The Global Times reported that in northern China's Shanxi province, the lower reaches of the Fen River experienced its biggest flood peak in nearly 40 years due to continuous heavy rains. The section of the dike of the Fen River near Qiodong village, Xinjiang district has a broken length of up to 20 meters. More than 10 large-scale machines and more than 300 people tried to mend the dike with stones and bricks, but the hole has not been patched. More than 1,800 nearby residents were safely evacuated. Shanxi province has issued a level 3 emergency response measure to control floods after there were casualties in house collapses and landslides caused by heavy rains. More than 20,000 people in Shanxi were displaced after heavy rains hit the province during the National Day holidays. Heavy rains in Shanxi persist and are forecast to continue for the next few days, with rainfall in many parts of the province exceeding 100 mm, even 200 mm, historic highs. The rain flooded homes, destroying supports beneath a railroad crossing the Truongvin River. A video circulating on social media shows the railway suspended in the air without piers. The Shandong Meteorological Department said that in areas of Shandong Province, eastern China, torrential rains are forecast. The Shandong Provincial Government has issued flood control guidelines and called for upgrading all irrigation projects to enhance flood control capabilities. In particular, the province will strengthen inspection and defense of key components to ensure operational safety in case of emergency, including 24-hour surveillance. Other areas are also facing great pressure from flooding. In central China's Hunan province, the Sanmengxia Dam on the Yellow River experienced its biggest flood since 1979, with inflows of up to 8,360 cubic meters per second and outflows of 7,990 cubic meters per second, according to Hanam Daily Newspaper. Tuleng Tu Hydroelectricity Dam Reservoir on the Yellow River touched the historic high water level of 271.18 m and began to discharge flood at a rate of 4,100 cubic meters per second to ensure flood control. The middle stream of the Yellow River has experienced its third flood peak this year, with a maximum water flow of 8,000 cubic meters per second, according to China's Ministry of Water Resources.